Catherine Budig designed this sequence leading to full Vashistasana to keep your practice fresh and encourage opening and freedom in all areas of your life, but most importantly, to have fun. Start in Tadasana, mountain pose, with your palms in Anjali Mudra, salutation seal. Begin Ujjayi Pranayama, victorious breathing. Inhale, arms reach straight up, lift through the chest. Exhale, open the arms wide, forward fold, hands down onto the mat. Inhale, extend forward through the sternum. Step to plank pose, shoulders over the wrists, belly firm. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, four limb staff pose. Inhale, Cobra, drop the pelvis, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Pull the thighs and energy back. Elongate through both sides of the torso. Lengthen the neck. Take the gaze forward to the hands. Step or hop forward. Inhale, get long through the chest. Keep all of that length. Exhale, fold back over the legs. Inhale, reach the arms wide. Press all the way up to stand. Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, arms reach up, starting to build that heat. Exhale, lead with the heart, forward fold. Inhale, offer the chest forward. Exhale, step back or jump to Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra or Ordva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog pose. Open and smile through the collarbone. Exhale, downward facing dog. Use the extension of the spine and the legs here to encourage you to open up and let go. Exhale, bend your knees for Virasana, hero pose. Come on all fours with your knees touching and your feet slightly wider than your hips. Drop your bottom in between your heels and come to a comfortable seat. If you feel any strain on your knees or ankles, sit on a block instead. Rest your palms in your lap. Gently press the pinky toes into the mat. Root your tailbone as you lift your frontal hip points up. Draw your front ribs into your body as you lift your sternum up and roll your shoulders back. Set your intention to trust that everything unfolds as it should when you loosen your grip and allow yourself to be open. Use this invitation of space to connect to your breath. From hero pose, walk your hands forward, curl your toes under, and lift your hips up and back into downward facing dog for a playful and open three-legged down dog variation. Inhale, lift your right leg up and roll your right hip open. Bend your right knee and gently pull your heel toward the glutes being careful to keep your shoulders even and spread. Feel fun and free and joyful as you elongate through both sides of the torso. Straighten your right leg, square your hips, and bring your right foot down. Inhale, lift your left leg up and over. Feel the front of your hips getting warm and open. Bend your left knee and pull your heel in. Lengthen the back of your neck and make space between the shoulder blades. Keep your shoulders even as you have fun and play with the opening of your left leg. Then straighten your left leg, square your hips, and bring your left foot down. Inhale, lift your right leg up for a variation of plank. Exhale, Shift your shoulders forward above your wrists, straighten your arms, and bend your right knee tight to your chest. Lower your hips in line with your shoulders. Press your palms into the ground and spread your shoulder blades around your side ribs to reach maximum rounding in your upper back. Try to plant a kiss on your kneecap as you bring your thigh to your chest and pull your heel to your bottom. Inhale, straighten your right leg up as you pull back to downward facing dog. Exhale the right leg back to the ground. Inhale, lift your left leg. 
Exhale, shift your shoulders forward. Bend your left knee and lift your thigh to your chest. Keep your hips in line with your shoulders and spread your shoulder blades to open and lift your upper back. Bring your face forward toward your knee as you lift your thigh to your chest and your heel to your bottom to bring heat to the hips. Inhale, straighten your left leg up. Pull back to downward facing dog. Exhale, left leg down. Lower your knees to the floor and come to all fours for balancing tabletop. Inhale, extend your right arm forward and your left leg back. Create one long line of energy by pulling your ribs in and extending energy forward through your fingertips and back through your toes. Bend the left leg and internally rotate the right arm as you reach back and clasp the left foot. Press your left shin bone back and simultaneously lift your foot, opening your psoas, hip, chest, and shoulder. Exhale, release, come back onto all fours. Inhale, reach your left arm forward, your right leg back. Extend that long line of energy and pull your ribs in. Feel your confidence and balance building as you bend the right leg Internally rotate the left arm and reach back to clasp your foot. Press back through your shin and lift your foot, finding the opening and balance. Exhale, release, and pull back to downward dog. Get as much elongation through the torso as you can. Press the tops of the thighs back, the shin bones back, and even stretch through the soles of your feet. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step the foot forward between your hands for Uttan Prishtasana, Lizard Pose. Stay on the ball of the left foot. Place both arms inside your right leg and lower your forearms down, either onto blocks or the floor. Extend your sternum forward, opening your chest, and melt your shoulder blades down your back. Keep the inner right knee hugging towards the right shoulder. Straighten your arms and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open through the collarbone. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step the foot forward. Extend back through the right foot. Place both arms inside your left leg and lower your forearms down. See if you can loosen your grip and allow yourself to feel open here. Extend forward through your chest and release your shoulders. Keep the inner left knee close to the left shoulder. Straighten your arms and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep that intention of pulling the energy back and elongating through both sides of your torso. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step your right foot forward for a variation of Ekapada Raja Kapotasana, one-legged king pigeon pose. Drop your left knee to the floor in a low lunge. Keep your right knee stacked over your ankle and place your right hand onto your thigh. Bend your left knee and reach back with your left hand to clasp your left foot. Roll your left ribs forward and gently lift the front hip points to release any compression in the lower back. Root your right palm into the thigh to help you lift off your chest. Release the back foot. Take your hands to the floor and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step forward. Drop your right knee to the floor. Left knee stacked over your ankle and left hand on your thigh. Bend your right knee. Reach back and clasp your foot. Take your right ribs forward as you lift your front hip points to open and release the lower back. 
Press your left palm into the thigh and lift your chest. Keep plenty of space at the base of the neck. Release the back foot, take your hands to the floor and step back, downward facing dog. From downward dog, lower your pelvis and move directly into Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Bend your elbows slightly as you hug your forearms towards the midline. From there, dig your fingers into the ground as you pull your torso through your arms. Feel as though your kidneys spread and lift. Fire your legs by lifting your kneecaps and pressing all ten toes into the ground. Now straighten your arms, keep your chest lifted, and gaze up for two more breaths. Bend your elbows and lower yourself onto the floor to release. Take a few long open breaths to prepare for Dhanurasana, bow pose. Bend both knees and reach back through your arms to clasp your feet or ankles. Recreate the spacious chest in up dog and inhale to lift up. Let go of any tension to find more freedom in the pose. Press your shin bones back and imagine pressing your feet back until they stack over your knees. Lift your head and chest and keep your shoulders dropping down away from your ears. Press your belly into the mat on your inhalation. On your exhalation, see how much you can lift your chest and your legs. Exhale, release and lower to the floor. Lengthen your legs behind you and rest your forehead on your forearms. Feel the physical space that's opening in your body. Bring the palms of your hands to the floor, roll your toes under, and pull up and back through the thighs, down dog. Inhale, shift your shoulders forward over your wrists and come into plank to prepare for Vashistasana, side plank pose. Bring your feet together and center your right hand on the mat. Roll onto the pinky edge of your right foot and stack your left foot and leg directly on top. Reach your left arm to the sky. Open up to feeling playful and confident. Gently draw your right shoulder blade down your back. Reach your tailbone toward your heels and stack your hips. Exhale, come back to plank. Center your left hand on the mat. Roll onto the pinky edge of your left foot and stack your feet and legs. Extend up through your right arm and release your left shoulder blade down your back. Let the challenge of balancing open you to feeling confident. Exhale back to plank and then lower your knees to rest in Balasana, child's pose. Take a deep breath here as you prepare for an open and playful variation of Vashistasana. Don't obsess about perfection or any agenda. Just be open to falling, trying again, and having fun. Now come back into plank. Center your right hand on the mat and roll onto the outside edge of the right foot. Externally rotate your left leg so your toes face the ceiling. Bend your left knee, grab the mound of the left big toe with your left hand, and as much as possible, straighten your left leg toward the ceiling as the sole of your right foot presses into the mat. Don't worry if your top leg isn't straight. Instead, focus on rooting your bottom leg through the sole of your right foot in order to lift up and express your spaciousness. Press down through your right big toe and your right hand to help you lift your hips. Open your chest and gaze up at the toes. Breathe into a sense of playfulness. Then look down, release your big toe and stack your legs back into side plank. Release your left hand back to the mat and come to plank. Then lower your knees and rest in child's pose. Feel the physical space open in your body as you breathe. Come back to plank and take the left hand to the center of your mat, rolling onto the outer edge of your left foot. Externally rotate your right leg so your toes face the ceiling. 
Bend your right knee, grab the mound of the right big toe with your right hand, and straighten your right leg as much as possible as you root through the sole of your left foot. Open your chest and gaze up at the toes. Feel confident, playful, and balanced. Then look down, release your big toe, and stack your legs back into side plank. Release your right hand down and come back to plank. Lower your knees and release into smooth, open breaths in child's pose. Yoga is all about making physical space in your body. Feel that space opening and then open the door to make space in your thoughts, relationships, choices, options, and beliefs. Lift your torso up and lie onto your back for Supta Baddha Konasana. Reclining Bound Angle Pose. Take the soles of your feet together and let your knees open out to the sides. Place one hand above your navel and the other at your heart. Seal in your commitment to both physical and mental space. Absorb this lack of resistance and let the opportunity to open up pour in.